Okay, so it is Tuesday, May 13th. This is Pam Stern, and I am interviewing Tara Bangs. Thanks, Tara. Thank really you. appreciate you agreeing to participate in the interview. And um, I wonder if you could just start with, tell me a little bit about yourself, where you grew up. Did you grow up here in New Westminster? Or? I actually grew up in Surrey. Oh, so okay. not too far, just over the bridge, yeah. Okay. And do you live now in New Westminster? Yes, I do. Okay. So I've lived here for many years, at least okay. a decade now. Yeah, I love it here, though. Okay. And um, and you uh, tell me about your job at the, on the Samson. Well, I, I first started 12 years ago. Uh -huh. I had was a student at Spratcha, kind of taking um, like a job search program that gave computer skills and whatnot. And um, they gave me um, a practicum to do at the Hyatt Festival Association. And they were hiring um, summer students, and the person they'd hired had kind of bailed on them, and I overheard the executive director of the Hayek talking about it, and I said, well, my thing is ending, and I wouldn't mind to take um, a summer job. And she said, fantastic, if you'd like to be an um, interpretive guide aboard the Samson, you know, I'll show the boat to you and whatnot, and I decided to take it. But it was kind of funny that year. That was um, the year Mark McKenzie was there, and they were doing the upper deck um, restoration work. Ah. So there wasn't a lot of interpretive guiding to do. So, um, but I stepped up to the plate and anywhere Mark kind of needed me, you know, scraping paint or doing any of that kind of stuff, I was able to do. So it was kind of interesting that I was kind of got a hands-on kind of approach with the boat as well, as much okay. as I could do because I'm not totally mechanically inclined, mm -hmm. but yeah. Okay. <laughs> and so did, did you have any maritime experience before that? No, no. Well, my, my dad, um, he didn't raise me, but he was a, a, like a tugboat guy so oh. I, I know he we would you know walk along when I was a teenager and he was kind of reminisce about that kind of stuff so yeah so mm -hmm. not personally but but through but, the family okay yeah. okay and um, so they so they had the did they have the they had the Samson open for tours even while they were doing the restoration um, partially um, at one point that's when I was doing a bit of interpret mm -hmm. um, tip guiding um, and because they just had like the upper deck closed off and then mm -hmm. eventually they had to kind of, uh, probably a few weeks, had to shut her down for a little bit. But yeah, so it was a little bit hard because everyone wants to go up to the, the wheelhouse, of course. And right. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, yeah, but they understood. And, and it was really great how Mark actually did the work because um, I, I guess being that it is the nature of the boat, they would get cheap labor over the years, different programs, through the, probably the government. And, and they were doing things that weren't sort of, as Mark would say, you know, maritime standards. They were using like staples and different things. And so Mark kind of wanted to do everything how it would have been done, like a real shipwright back in the day with copperhead tax and, and all that to take the time to do that, which thank goodness, knock on wood, it's still pretty good. Louisa still does little patches and stuff. But, but that shows though, that if you do things the right mm -hmm. way and you know, the original way, it's a lot better with mm -hmm. care and yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so you didn't have any carpentry experience or? No, and I didn't do that kind of work though. Just okay. a little, you know, um, it was actually Louisa, I got her job there. That's how she started. Ah. Because Mark had, um, he was down a man basically. And I said, well, how do you feel about a woman working and this and that? And he's like, oh, he's very, you know, um, and he was fine with it, and she didn't have a lot of experience, but she's always been naturally mechanically inclined, and mm -hmm. she had done maintenance and different things, worked on machines, and so she really enjoyed it, and that's how she kind of got her foot into it. Ah, so okay. that's how we met Mark and, okay. and all and that. She, and she wasn't working on the on the native at that time. No, right? no, oh. it's see, it all kind of, then the native <laughs> came after the, it's all kind of little little steps, right. and it kind yeah. of just started, at least with Louise's story, started with me just mm -hmm. kind of being there, and yeah. Okay. So that was so that you were a summer student, right. basically, and did 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 the job end then or? Um, they actually kept me on just for uh, you know the weekends because at the time with the society the hours are a little bit different now mm -hmm. they're kind of like almost every day mm -hmm. even at May June, so um, I think Thanksgiving was like the kind of last weekend so I just it was just a weekend gig for about five years oh. I did and yeah and they had of course other students now it's a little different as well with it being a city job we don't really have the. The same students coming mm -hmm. there, so yeah. Okay, so it's it's a um, is it is it it's still a seasonal job? Yes, yes, um, but of course with being more hours now because mm -hmm. May June, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit more opportunity, mm -hmm. and and it's because I hadn't worked 
for so long. It's my second season coming back after a few years. Oh, right? okay. So it's kind of interesting to see how it's the difference about the you know the management going from Royal Agricultural Industrial Society, kind okay. of a nonprofit to, to the city and. There's good and bad, of course, with all change. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah. You probably get paid better now. <laughs> of course, that is that is one thing. Um, the only downside is um, before, like when Louise and Mark used to be um, a salary, uh -huh. so there'd be full time maintenance on the boat. So uh, unfortunately, that is one area that suffered because uh, even though say Louisa or Mark did get paid more as well as right. the city employees. <laughs> Uh, it went to part time because of the wages right. increasing, so right. it went to 20 hours a week as opposed to 40 oh. plus. If you really had your heart into a project, which Mark and Louisa would, you know, right. they're always down there. They're not your regular. No, <laughs> the two of them. No, yeah, I, I haven't met Louisa, but I do. Oh, okay. I do. I do know Mark. And but there, <laughs> and, and Mark kind of like he made us kind of love the Samson, you know, because uh -huh. I didn't really know about okay. you know, the ship before. So okay. yeah. Okay, so. Well, that's it. That's it. What do you What do you love about it? Oh, or I, or how do you love it? <laughs> tell me. Tell me about. Tell I just love just the, the people I've met and uh -huh. the opportunities it has brought. Not only for me and Louise, and I've known Mark now for twelve years, and I consider him like a really good friend, almost like a big brother. And uh -huh. you know, and just the people that you just meet. I mean, it's such a pleasurable job. I mean, you get to talk about the city, the boat. Um, you know, and mm -hmm. it's, it's fascinating the people that come on, some people that have used to work on the boat or they had family or, or you just see, you know, mother with their child and just see, you know, how happy they are. And, mm -hmm. and it's just amazing that the boat can actually bring such happiness, you mm -hmm. know. And a lot of people, of course, don't even know the boat is there. Like my grandma had supposedly said that I'd been there as a child, but it didn't even make it. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it didn't make even a memory dent. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, I think the most part is, I guess, the, the people, uh -huh. I think. And, and just... Being around outside is beautiful too. If you're outside and you can see a seal going by, or do you, you, know, see, you just yeah. do you see seals very often? Actually, not not uh, uh, not fairly often, but you do see the odd one. Uh -huh. um, I was actually surprised during some storms or when the the, the water is rocky. I've seen a few out. Wow. You would think I know they seem to. Have <laughs> I don't know too you much think about seals, hard, but you would think it would be harder to see them. Though. I know. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, but it is nice to see. And if you point one out. The kids can see it. Yeah. yeah. We actually saw one of the last ship I was on, but the minute I said I saw a seal, that was the last <laughs> one I seen for the ship. So. But yeah. Okay. Um, the people who who come to see the Samson, are they locals or tourists? or? Oh, you get a wide variety of people. Um, like I was saying, like you get the families because it is um, by donation. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get a lot of people that live on Keyside Drive. That they'll come and I'll recognize the same grandma or mom and they have a little guy and you know and they don't really want you know me giving them the whole tour I just kind of mm -hmm. greet them and make sure everything's okay and you know they just want to kind of play and have a moment together um, so there's regulars that way uh, we do get tourists and actually occasionally a really interest tourist um, last year we had a couple that were steam enthusiasts and they were from Sweden oh. and so the Samson was actually on their you know thing that they were traveling the world and it, to see, to see, see steamships. Right, and it's amazing because there's some people that just kind of walk by, and here's people that traveled, you know. So yeah, you do get a, you do get a wide variety of people. Yeah, okay. um, well, we actually had one person on who used to know the, I guess the manager Colin Stevens that used to be here, uh -huh. and, and he's like, I've never been on the boat, and I'm like, Have you been to the Irving House? And that's when I he mentioned his friend, and I knew who he was, and he's like, I feel really bad now because. You know, I've never even been in the Irving House, and he's lived in New West for about 20 years, so <laughs> so I, I don't know if I guilted him, too. I'm like, you have to come, but, but you never know who you're, who you're going to find. Um, over the years, probably less people that have worked on the boat have come on, because I guess with people getting older, mm -hmm. and I haven't, unfortunately, didn't jot down everyone's name, but there was one gentleman who came on, and he was um, a deckhand, and he's like, there I am in the picture, and it was him, right? Uh -huh. And I guess that this was about 12 or 10, 11 years ago, so he was probably in his 40s then, but uh -huh. yeah. But I kind of, I think I wanted to, I, Mark always said, try to get their contact information, but some people, of course, would say, no, no, I'm not, I just came here to reminisce. So you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I would try to get information, though. I would yeah. always be kind of... Uh -huh. Because Mark would always be like, oh, darn, you, you know, <laughs> you never know, though, what you, information you can find out from someone, though. Right. Yeah, in the right, you know. They'll remember something that uh, that you didn't even think to ask. It's true, yes. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, do you also, you also give tours at the Irving House? Yes. Yeah. That kind of came, that was something new for me. It kind of came as a package. So, oh. But it, it, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, I knew a little bit uh-huh. about, you know, Captain Irving because we had to know, well, not had to, but, you know, a little bit mm-hmm. of information, different cap, local captains, but we didn't talk too much on the Samson. So that's been really interesting. And I've been trying to bring mm-hmm. people here too, because of course it's, it's a historic site, but of course it's out of the way. Right. Uh, for, yeah. It's not on right. a footpath. So yeah. Yeah. So, um, so do you have full time work now, or, or is um, it it's still, yeah. yeah? And is it still seasonal? It's still seasonal, yes. What do you do in the off season? Um, I've been well. I've been working at the native in the sales oh. office. Um, I've done serving, kitchen stuff like that. Uh-huh. But I'm probably maybe going back to school. I'm thinking of oh. maybe doing like something like a receptionist in a physio clinic, or you know, oh, something okay. like that. Uh-huh. And. Um, I've been getting a couple shifts here and there when Aaron's been gone. I've been oh. coming up, so that's nice. It adds a little bit more to work the front desk area and stuff. Right. And, and, yeah. And probably helpful if you want to be a receptionist. Well, exactly, yeah. exactly. It all kind of yeah. yeah. But I mean, the, the for the native, I think the most I do like the sales office the most. I'm a little more inclined that way. But mm-hmm. I did start doing the kitchen, and I've kind of been off and on because I've had other jobs and things. And mm-hmm. but it's always nice to have that little like with this or with the native that little extra. Mm-hmm. You know, and, it, and they're very flexible, mm-hmm. which is very nice. Oh, okay. Especially with this job, I actually talked to Aaron. I was surprised you only need to work like one shift of the year to keep your status at least. Oh. And it doesn't matter how long you've been here, which of course, for some people that have been here 20 years, like one of the other staff has a little, <laughs> uh, you know what I mean, but that's that's not nothing to do with me. But right. But I mean, for a newer person, it's, it's you know, good that way. But yeah. 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 It gives you an opportunity to go and do other things or try some other exactly. stuff out. Exactly. And you always have a little extra cash, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, tell me what. Uh, so what's a what's a typical ship shift at the at the Samson like? What do you do ah, when well, you come in? And... It totally depends on the weather, of course. Uh huh. Because um, if 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 like you see the other week, I had a shift with um, a guide Laura, and it because of the weather and weekday, people didn't maybe know we were open, and so no one was really walking. We didn't get too many visitors, but then. Um, was it Saturday I had a shift with my um, co-worker Lorraine and we had close to 70 which isn't spectacular but still it was enough people and and I also gave the other day like um, some teenagers a school came on kind of needed uh-huh. that so you never really know mm-hmm. what's gonna happen but you know to come on we have to make sure um, everything's safe if like Louise's put if she's done maintenance maybe she's forgotten something or left something unlocked uh-huh. and put the signs out that kind of uh-huh. stuff, a little boring, but you know, mm-hmm. make sure all the, you know, everything's unlocked and safe, if there's any leaks, do little checks, and then we just kind of open up for business and take it from there and see, you know, I try to offer if people want a tour or if not, just to kind of gauge it, and there's a lot of people, of course, for safety, someone in the front and back we usually try to do uh-huh. as well, because uh, on the way to the, the wheelhouse, of course, the stairs are always Oh, they're, cons- they're quite steep, yeah. Right, right, so, and I want to make sure that, you know, people feel comfortable if they want to ask questions or, or talk or, and I kind of just, you know, read the people as, you know, well as I can and okay. yeah. yeah. So it's kind of a customer service thing and I guess a little, you know, but, but I even had like one, um, girl that was asking me some suggestions, um, from Korea, you know, and should she go here? She wanted to go to this, you know, she'd heard about the wineries out here and I haven't been to the one in the West, but I kind of told her, I said, Oh, I don't know if it's going to be what you're thinking, you know, and, yeah. I, and I, I gave her some suggestions, some different areas yeah. where she could go. The wine's go. not bad, by the way. Oh, is it? Oh, gosh, it, it, I want to do it, it, it. It's, 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 it's a uh, kind of funny venue because it's in a... That's what it, I was kind of thinking because I guess her, she had yeah, this, you know, yeah. Okanagan kind yeah. of thing in her mind. But, yeah, yeah it, doesn't, it doesn't look like those wineries out oh. in the Okanagan, but, uh, but the wine isn't bad. Oh, I'll have to check it out. Yeah. Yeah. I still want to go there myself. Yeah. 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 So I've well, only, I've been know. there just once. But, well, well, I was trying to yeah. get, we get the wine on the boat from um, Langley, Chabreton. Um, oh, okay. But I was, Louise and I were trying to get Helga to maybe go for a wine testing. You know, uh-huh. to make, because it's very trendy now, especially in the West, is everything local, everything from uh-huh. the city. And there's uh-huh. a new brewery opened up or something. Oh, beer. oh, the name oh they're, gonna, they're gonna be in the same area. Oh, are they? Oh, see, I didn't yeah, know that. I don't think they're quite open yet. But, but it'd be fabulous but be, to have, you know, real, like, I mean, of course, Langley's right. local, but I mean, right. local, local, and, and right. yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so usually, you know, usually working with one other person? 
Right. Okay. Right. Yes. Okay. Uh, for safety, of course. Yeah. And not. Right. And they've tried to get volunteers, but um, usually they'll get be able to get volunteers if we have like a family day and there's crafts. Mm -hmm. Wanda started something really good that was nice. Um, having one of the summer students do like not tying different crafts for the kids on Friday. Uh -huh. and that uh, was popular. Oh. You know? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I mean, do you do do you do demos like that too, or? Um, I didn't do the craft so much. I used to do school programs, but okay. I'm not sure. I haven't asked why there wasn't any this year. See, oh. last year there was a few, oh. and I have no mm. idea. They were they were advertising, I know, with uh, Fraser River Discovery Center. Oh. So I'm not sure if the connection is still there or not, or because it's kind of hard to advertise on their own, or you know. Right. Just, so we're, and, we're talking about the Samson now, right? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, yeah. Okay. Um, well, they used to be involved years ago, three major attractions, and that was a hot ticket. Uh, Everyone was going because you got to go to the Discovery Center, the Samson, and then go actually go on a ride. Uh, but then for some reason, I'm not sure, but maybe Helga, maybe too many of the kids on the board, and it became... Um, yeah. They would have to pay staff to kind of watch them, and it didn't end up making, I guess, maybe them enough money kind of thing. Uh, but the programs themselves on the Samson have always been, if, if they can go back and forth from the Discovery Center, it's mm -hmm. really nice. Mm -hmm. so but, I'm, you, but you haven't had school kids this year. No, I was actually going to yeah. ask Erin about that because there's only really June left, and, right. and that's it. So yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure why that, why that is because we had at least a handful last year, and, huh. and, and, and they're fun, too. Okay, so. what's fun about it? Well, I, I like kids, okay. and I like teaching them about the Samson and history, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. especially now in, in the digital age, where mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I don't have kids myself. I have nephews where they're, you know, mm -hmm. little screens and things like that, mm -hmm. and, and unfortunately, if we don't kind of plant the seed with young people, then the things like the Samson or, well, the Urban House is a little more protected because mm -hmm. historic stat, status, but, but still, I mean, people won't care about that kind of stuff. Why right. bother? Yeah. We can go on a virtual tour on the computer. We don't have to... You know, you have to kind of engage people, right. just like going out in the nature when yeah. you care about the environment. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. When you when you talk to kids, what kind of things excite them about the Samson? Um, see, it's a lot. Of course, it's not really all technical things. So yeah. we do. Um, unfortunately, it hasn't been rewritten. I'm hoping it will because it's been about a decade since um, some of the school things. But that's nothing to do with me either. So. Um, I kind of gauge the age too. Like mm -hmm. you don't always want to stick everything on the. You know, when they give you a. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, but they're more interested in the stories of the people a little bit, a little bit about the mechanical stuff. But, but you have to gauge too. I mean, they, they're just excited to be there. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're at the Discovery Center, it's it's a building they have things. But here, you're actually on. You know, the museum is the mm -hmm. boat, and you are. You know, mm -hmm. and so it can be a little challenging though because the kids can get, depending on the age, get very excited and they want to maybe, you know, <laughs> right, right, <laughs> yeah. right. So actually, um. Yeah, they were training a couple of good good people to be got, um, to do the school programs. And Louise is really good with the kids because uh, okay. she has a lot of experience with that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. And I hadn't done it for a few years, uh -huh. but that was my favorite part. I remember even like running up to the wheelhouse. This was years ago. I haven't done this in a few years. I was younger and just honking the horn and waving at the kids. And they were just so like you could tell they had such a, a great time, you uh -huh. know. And yeah, just mm -hmm. I guess just being there. I think really, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. I had one kid. I was really surprised because they lived in Chilliwack. And um, he came with his dad that weekend because um, his, you know, he just kept talking about the sounds, and I was like, wow. I mean, they, I mean, it's not far, far, but still, like, even that one kid was so. I know it was just me, but of course it was, you know, the Samson, But still, uh -huh. like that, that, that the program involved, you know, he wouldn't have known about it, and mm -hmm. he loved it so much. You know, he must have campaigned for his dad to go down, right? <laughs> so, but that was nice, you know. And mm -hmm. I've seen some kids, you know, grow up over the years. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, they've been like 11, 12, now they're, you know, mm -hmm. like 20 something. So, and that's kind of nice too. Like, hi, Tara. Because they live down, you know, on the boardwalk, right? Uh -huh. And and that was another thing too, is regular. Some of the older kids, if they were respectful, I'd let them, you know, come on with a friend or something. And mm -hmm. so they really felt kind of part of the, the community. Because oh. the, the boardwalk's kind of like that, though. The people that live down there, especially in the co op there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. And, um,. Adults, what do they want to hear about? Oh, a wide variety of stuff. Um, well, you'll get a lot of, especially males, you know, the old timers mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. are kind of coming on to reminisce, and, and they don't necessarily want to hear me talk about the history. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they want me to listen. They want to mm -hmm. hear. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, so they and, want to tell you about right. Their, okay. And I love that too. Okay. I mean, that's like gauging the people. Okay. If we had to do the same, I think tours as here, it would be a little. You know, because you mm -hmm. kind of have to play. Everyone has different needs or wants of, mm -hmm. I think, what they're getting out of the experience. Mm -hmm. And 
So yeah, I sometimes do a lot of listening, which is great mm-hmm. too, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, then you get some people that want just the basic information. Maybe they're walking with husband or wife, and they're just you know, yeah, you know, having a little romantic thing or something, mm-hmm. and you know, and um, and you do occasionally, of course, get people that are really interested too. But it's it's not the same as being mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. When people come here, sometimes I. I've, I've had some interesting people here, like man studying about colonial homes and different, mm-hmm. you know, people uh, from actual. I got this girl twice, and I don't come here too often. She was had the tape recorder with me because you know she's doing yeah. um, history uh-huh. studies and things, so that was interesting. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, has anybody told you anything really surprising when you're on Samson about or about the about about the the boat or about the river or? Um, not really, no. Okay. It just seems to be just mm-hmm. kind of reminiscing. Okay. Um, I know, like, the counselor, Betty McIntosh, she had um, a lady that was a retired police officer, but she oh. she just has some stories where it was on her beat to kind of check the Samson out. Ah. And uh, I guess there was, like, a rope, and she'd come on, and, and she'd, you know, go in the back and talk with the, the cook and uh-huh. have a cup of coffee with him. And she wanted to go, because we have the galley uh, shut off now. It used to be open, but I mm-hmm. guess just the city wanted to... In case too many people touching and stuff, mm-hmm. um, but I took her back. I mean, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but but I mean, yeah, yeah. It just it's not really surprising, but just I don't know, no, maybe um, it's actually heartwarming that so many people feel, you know, that mm-hmm. connection with either the people or the boat itself. Mm-hmm. Though, but you hear a lot of I remember that going down because it was only 1980, obviously yeah, that it, it right, stopped running. So, yeah. so I was still around, even so, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. Not it's it's amazing that it. A lot of people actually, if you're talking about surprise, they're surprised that it ran that long. Ah. Which is still amazing. And that's right. why we have those pictures from 1977 from beautiful right. British Columbia magazine. Ah. I'm very lucky, though, too. Yeah. Because you get people that don't maybe speak English that well or children. You can kind of show them how they're, you know, putting the snags up. And, mm. and then because sometimes just talking, but you're looking at the pic. Wow, you know? Yeah. So, it, yeah, that does help. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I think the first time I was on the boat, I was seeing those pictures and realizing how recent it was. Yes, um, and that was that was a real, that was a surprise to me because when you when I look at the water front today, I go, you you have to really look to see that there was a that there were piers there, and <laughs> it's true, and, yeah. And, uh, so so people are so are people people are really surprised or. By that, yes, yeah. yes. Okay. okay. Um, oh, I, the other day when we were talking, you oh. mentioned that you had done the interviews with, um, with... Oh, that was a long time ago, yeah. Yeah, what was... Could you just tell me a little bit about what it was you did? I can't hardly remember. It was, it was so stressful because at the time, I mean, she was a very nice lady, mind you, Valerie Francis. She uh-huh. was the Hayek Festival um, director at the time. And she's like, oh, you're going to be coming for, like, a meet and greet. And, you know, and, and, and the crew from the Samson, whoever they could find that was around, mm-hmm. is going to be there. And so I had no idea what to expect, which I would have loved if she had given me. I'm not trying to be critical, but right. just, you know, I'm someone who's very, like, I don't know if the right, that sounds nice to say, you know. But, I mean, mm-hmm. I like to be, like, organized and maybe because mm-hmm. I'd never done interviews, I would have liked to have. You know, and, and I was a bit younger, I wasn't a baby, but I was still, you know, a little right, younger. And, right. and there's like all these older guys, and I was like, oh, you know, and to, <laughs> to ask them questions a little, it was actually, I felt a little intimidated by it, of uh-huh. course. But of course, and I was volunteering, but of course, with her being my boss and everything, it felt a little more with pressure. And I know her heart was in the right place, but yeah. I just, looking back, I wish things could be done a little differently, but I'm very, very lucky that Mark, um, at that time, had talked to a lot of the people, so uh-huh. I assume that he has, uh-huh. you know, right. written things. And with him being an older male, though he was probably my age at the time or something, but I mean, <laughs> right. but I mean, they're, they would be more receptive to right. talking to him than probably some nervous younger female that was like, oh. <laughs> so I had to be yeah. really honest about that, uh-huh. but but I mean, um, I don't remember much. It's 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 it, that's that's the I guess uh-huh. the yeah. beauty of the right. of the tape. Yeah. You so say you recorded um, those those conversations? Yeah, or, oh, okay. I'm not sure where they are okay. though. Maybe I, they, I, I, I don't know. Oh, they, may, okay. they may be here. I don't Martin, know. You know. Um. Yeah. So they they. Uh, I wasn't I was wasn't sure if you had listened to them. I haven't listened to a lot no. of years, so I'd probably be maybe cringing if I had to <laughs> hear them. Um. Then again, the, you might be surprised that they were really good. <laughs> 
but just, but you know what I mean, not knowing, right? But right. I, I just kind of remember talking to Mario, the the, the cook. Um, uh huh. I think his last name Bertolini. Bertol- oh, probably saying okay. it wrong, Italian gentleman. But he was okay. so friendly. Uh-huh. So my main thing is, um, I will just say like a quick thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's Mario. He's cooking the pancakes with kids. You know, right. if, you, if you have a young person and. Right. Well, look, I got to actually say, at least I, I met him and talked to him, and he was a very mm-hmm. friendly fellow. You can uh, you can see why he was one of the longer, you know, standing crew members. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah, yeah. But they, they, from what I remember, though, that they just all seemed so happy, you know. And mm-hmm. and even when I was talking to Valerie, and she says, "Can you imagine, you know, how good they feel that, you know, maybe they've never been really recognized before, and they all got a plaque, and they got their picture in the paper, and." You know, and that oh, was really special, okay. and um, they had someone from the museum bring, I think it's down in the archives, they have a little miniature uh, oh, version of the Samson uh, someone okay. had made, so someone was there to kind of guard that, and you know, and okay. <laughs> so it was interesting. I mean, it was, it was, it was, it was a lot, it was a lot of fun, of course, going back, I would have loved to, you know, if I could go back, if I could actually do it now, you know, it would mm-hmm. be totally different, <laughs> but, but I mean, I'm glad it really did happen, though, because mm-hmm. I mean, the main thing is what, I think, what the gentleman got out of it, too, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And then for them to maybe they hadn't seen each other in years. Can you imagine oh, okay. how neat that is? Yeah, uh, yeah that is neat. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, let's see. Um, So when you so you were away for a number of years, not working on the Samson, and then right. went back. And how did you happen to come back? Um, well, actually, three years ago there was um, a posting for the job, and I interviewed, but I didn't get it right away because uh-huh. now with the I didn't finish. I only had two years of university uh-huh. <laughs> before; it didn't matter as much. But I guess mm-hmm. with the pay being higher, more competition, different, uh-huh. you know, uh-huh. how the you know the landscape is now in uh-huh. the employment world. So. I was a little bummed out because I'm like, I have five years experience and, you know, and Louisa was, they knew though, mm-hmm. that, you know, we were um, partners and stuff, but, um, and Louisa, year, Louisa was already working there. She was as okay. a contractor. So okay. yeah. And, um, so I was a little bummed out, but I'm like, well, you know, I gave it my all mm-hmm. and, um, and I, and I think, like I said, that the people they had hired, fortunately a couple people dropped off, but, uh-huh. um, so that's where I got the call the uh-huh. next season and I was in the, um, Someone had told Juana, I guess, oh, she's in the sales office, and I picked up, and the Juana said, oh, Tara, and she's like, would you, s- I'm not sure you'd be interested, because I, I don't know, maybe she thought, oh, and I'm like, no, I would, you know, I would love to go back, because I mm-hmm. actually was, like I said, a little disappointed, I didn't mm-hmm. get it right away, and I said, sure, and I didn't have to re-interview, but of course she asked to, uh, you know, do the references and right. all that kind of stuff, so I didn't have to go through all, because right. they knew who I was, and right. whatnot, and yeah, and, and there we go, and so it's been great, so I'm glad I was given the opportunity and okay. yeah. yeah so you so, won't so, find so. too many people as enthusiastic as me <laughs> no I can tell <laughs> seriously you know yeah yeah and uh so you've been down this is the second summer second season yeah second season exactly okay exactly yeah okay yeah and so right okay. maybe it was the right time everything aligned the planets right <laughs> <laughs> I hope so yeah um and uh you work what four days a week five days a week it's so varied like I have I think nine shifts this um month but I was working like four days in a row and then there's like I work tomorrow, and then there's a few days okay. off, so I'm kind of juggling it because the uh-huh. season's starting at the other boat now. So okay, and yeah. So, but it, but they work because it's an auxiliary job. They work around anything else, which is a bonus. Oh, because okay. I'm thinking, like, say, going back probably to the school soon. Okay, because my um, grandfather who raised me died last year, so there was some a little bit of money that was put aside for me because it was oh. three dollars and that, not a lot, but enough that mm-hmm. that I can actually put it right down and you know, take a technical course right away, which uh-huh. is really nice once it's all, Okay. I don't know. Yeah. I've never had something like this happen before, so it's a little, <laughs> a little stressful yeah. family stuff, Yeah, but that's another story. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh. Um, and, um, let's see. What else do I want to know? So I noticed you were wearing a uniform sort of the other day. Is that... Uh, oh, I may have been... Oh, yeah, well, that was a Samson's uh, t-shirt and a jacket. I'm not really probably supposed to be wearing the sweatshirt. Um, <laughs> that's from originally from the um, 
society, but um, they didn't really give us anything that's warm for the city. Oh. Um, so it was it, chilly. It <laughs> was. Um, well, Lorraine will wear like something, or whoever I work with, sometimes mm -hmm. they'll wear something under in the shirt, uh -huh. and then we have the windbreaker. Uh -huh. But I thought, oh, it's a Samson, so it kind of worked out. I had the t-shirt underneath, uh, but that's what we usually, it'll, it'll okay. be just a regular t-shirt, uh, you know, the wind. Breaker, okay. but one not 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 a not a city of New Westminster T-shirt. Mm -hmm. I, I, oh I, yeah, yeah, I have one of those. It's, it's just it's his staff in the back. I yeah, think I think it's his volunteer. Yes, right, just yeah. like that. Yeah, but on, like I said, if it gets cold like that, uh -huh. I think it was midweek last week, and Laura and I were there, kind of huddled, and I actually had to zip my jacket and put the, uh -huh. you know. But I think as long as it's clear that mm -hmm. I'm working mm -hmm. there then I think they're right. probably okay with it so. right yeah so is it, is <laughs> you it, taught me with so, is, so is, is, is 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 the jacket something that the city provided it is you have to it buy is. it or no 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 we we all got uh, like two t-shirts and oh, okay. and um I guess we just kind of layer up like okay. I said, if it's, yeah yeah the society was a little different they gave us like um sweatshirts and we did have a windbreaker as well mm -hmm. and it, they had hats as well but not mm -hmm. many of the girls really wanted to wear it but yeah. but some of the gentlemen yeah. did yeah yeah any rules about footwear oh yes yes it has to be like runners with grip or something that was something that was brought up in a meeting because of of, of course if you wear flip-flops or something yeah. i know a lot of the guests do we can't really you can't stop them but... no no i did stop someone with rollerblades trying to come on i don't <laughs> understand <laughs> recently oh no last season i was like okay. oh no no and she's like there's no sign i'm like well it's kind of a common sense thing but but i didn't yeah. say that it was yeah. that. We, we don't yeah so but yeah that's a little dangerous yeah. Yeah. yeah but i mean um actually last week we had a couple ladies one didn't her mobility issues weren't that great, so we actually kind of gave a little bit of a tour on the foredeck. Uh -huh. They kind of stood on the, and that's mm -hmm. actually happened before as well. Okay. Because of course we're not set up for, uh, you know, handicapped people. Though people right. have, if, if if the gangway isn't too steep, if, depending on the tide, of course, we have had people with assistance, you know, kind of come on. But right. as long as they know, you know, the risks yeah, and different. Yeah, you can't get you can't get a wheelchair or no, even a walker through no, some of those spaces. No, no, yeah. it's yeah, it is yeah. difficult that way, and. And then, of course, if you're going to make it wheelchair accessible, then it's going to change the <laughs> whole shift. So, right. yeah. But they were happy with the tour on the, with, you know, uh, sort of irritation on the four deck. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. The ladies were wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. They were actually surprised. They just wanted to know a question. And, mm -hmm. and Laura's, Laura was great. She started to talk. And then, yeah. yeah. And that's good because then it brings other people who may kind of walk by the boat. Sometimes I've ushered people on. Like the other day, a lady with her two kids. And I'm like, well, you can come on the boat if you like. It's... You know, by donation or you know basically free i mean no one's mm -hmm. gonna in, we don't enforce that but of course we enjoy a donation but yeah. um it's just like oh and she wouldn't have come on and sometimes it just takes you know sometimes just to usher someone on or something of course mm -hmm. if english isn't the first language that's a little hard because mm -hmm. i can imagine you're going to another country and you see our sciences samson tours um we've had occasionally had someone think we're going off you know, right. So oh, there can be sometimes yeah. a little, yeah, or that we are the native or or whatnot. Right. Too. So yeah, yeah. I could I could imagine that doesn't happen very often, though, does it? More than, <laughs> more than you can imagine. Uh, um, yeah, I I once was actually um, uh, there's the deck covers. This was a long time ago when Mark had me uh, doing some varnishing, uh -huh. and there was another guy there, and I and I had the side off, and and they were looking around. And she's like, oh. And they start asking me questions, and she goes, "Well, where's the food going to be set up, and this and that?" I'm like, "What?" And she goes, "Oh, isn't this the native?" They they were looking because they were wedding. Ah. Oh. And the woman looked panicked because she's going to oh. look, you know, for a wedding venue, and she thought the Samson was it. So here I am, oh. you, know, with, you know, the varnish, and it didn't even, you know, it's oh. a it's a boat, a working boat, so it doesn't look very yeah you know, clean for having. <laughs> and then she just looked so relieved, she's like, "Oh," but it was kind of it was kind of funny because she just, you know. <laughs> and we've had a couple people think of that, and yeah, so okay. yeah, it's, <laughs> okay. It, it, it's a little humorous, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. What else do I know? Do 
ever figure out, the other day, did you ever figure out what those kids with the video camera were doing? Or oh, they, they... it was just for fun. Oh, They're okay. Like they weren't little... making a... <laughs> no, no. Because I'd seen them around, and they went up um, to the, the top deck at first, and there was another group up there, so I thought, okay. And then I went up when they went down, because I wanted to see, you know, when people weren't around, and... Mm-hmm. And I, I asked them, and it seemed innocent enough. But Lorraine yeah. and I were keeping our eyes out, you yeah. know, just in case, you know. Yeah. But they didn't seem like troublemakers. Yeah, no, they didn't seem no. that way to me. Just, you know, just teenagers. They, exactly. <laughs> we that, it, it was kind of comical anyhow. It broke the day up a little bit. So, you know. But, but I mean, occasionally there have been, of course, you got to watch, watch out, you know. But um, Like for what? Well, the area has cleaned up a lot. Uh-huh. So we don't have the same problems we used to. Uh-huh. Um. I don't know if you used to go to the key before. There was more of an mm. element of um, crackheads and different drug people and things. Oh, um, okay. Like where the Salvation Army is there uh-huh. now. Um, the Hayek Square, I think it's uh-huh. called. And there used to be like a grassy knoll under there. And they would just oh. hang out there. And just, oh. it was it was quite the thing. And there were a lot more older pubs down there. You know, oh, okay. there might be, I think, different things along there. And mm-hmm. I don't know... It, I don't think they they were from those pubs, but I meant it was just different. It was a, it was a different kind of atmosphere, right. yeah. Okay. And so you would have the market was larger, and you'd have a lot of those people using the washrooms and different things. And and sometimes they would come on the boat. I never personally had a problem with anyone, but mm-hmm. it kind of was a little a little unsettling. Mm-hmm. And and it's just amazing how the area has just cleaned up so much. You know, there's not really that kind of element. Mm-hmm. Occasionally, like I said, the, the I hate to like young people, but occasionally I've had to. There's young people and they like they're goofing around. I will, you know, look around because you know how young people are. I mean, I don't want to judge people, but they might be more apt to maybe get in there and do something with the mannequin or, you know, like take right. a little memento. I don't know. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And I just yeah. want to make sure yeah. that... They also sort of lack a little judgment. They right, may do something right. That they don't intend to. <laughs> right. So, yeah, yeah. So that's what I mean. Like, but, but, uh-huh. but, but, I mean, it has changed a lot mm-hmm. so it's, it's been very it's it's amazing to actually see what's happened to Noes and and I don't know if that's to do with a lot of the key old-time pubs in different areas mm-hmm. leaving though I don't know mm-hmm. do you think it's a good thing um it's a there's good and bad I I miss kind of the funkier New West when I first moved here in my early 20s because there was more independent businesses uh-huh there you know there'd be like some really interesting eccentric man who had a thrift store, you know, and they were all over the place. Uh-huh. And, and in the key, the whole upstairs was full of the food court, different people, independent businesses. There was like one lady, um, sweetie, um, her husband actually has something called the piffle. I don't know if you ever heard of that. Think, um, Sarge. I think I have. Oh yeah. 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 And, and yeah. she used to have like, um, sweeties and it was a little Filipino place. And so she got to know us and like, Got Louise and I fat because we like we come on up. Oh, have some cake or. But I mean, it was it was more of a community feel back then. Uh-huh. Not so much. I'm not talking about the pubs so much stuff. Right. But, but but the actual the market that was more public. Uh huh. And so there's good and bad. I mean, like saving for the market, it, it needed to be redone. I mean, it was falling apart. The the infrastructure and whatnot. Uh-huh. But it's just so sad to see where you could spend a whole day there. And now, if you've ever been there, you kind of go in, you go out. You may have a coffee, but it's not an all-day thing. There's not much to really do there. And so I, I think with the area, it's becoming really maybe, it's coming trendy, but maybe mm-hmm. too trendy too fast for the area. I'm not sure. Cause, oh, okay. Like, I see a lot that I would like from Columbia Street because I just live down the street, and mm-hmm. it's all, like, wedding shop, wedding shop. I almost wish it had a little bit more of a feel of, like, commercial drive. Oh. Okay. And where I, that's where I miss, I think, from, from the key, you know, mm-hmm. that you could you could sit upstairs and eat. And I understand from a business standpoint, they had to rent the places out. Mm-hmm. You know, there's that part of me that says, yet yeah, that, and then there's another part that kind of mm-hmm. misses. I, I love people having their own business. I love that, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And as for the old-time pubs, I've been to a couple of them. One was pretty... um. I don't know. Have you seen that one? I forget the name of it. Was it the Bag B or the Windsor? The Windsor. I don't know what happened to the signs because it used to have the old signs. I wish uh-huh. I would have taken a picture of it, you know, oh, um, oh. ladies and escorts oh. and gents. So I, okay. I really like that. But I mean, it was a bit of a okay. rough place. I remember my dad had taken me there once. He's like, you better never come here. Because right <laughs> it would be guys, you know, like right. getting off work and different, you know. Mm-hmm. And yeah. yeah. How old were you when, you t- when your dad took you? Oh, gosh. Probably 19, 20. Oh, okay. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, it, and, it, and, it, and it, you know, but it had its own flavor too that's why you know like we were saying is it better is it worse it's yeah i wish there could be like a happy median uh-huh. but i notice it's always like 
new and better or old and decrepit or oh. falling apart. Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. there's, I wish there was some, something uh -huh. in between there, but yeah. I don't know how yeah. that can happen. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. Um, do you feel New West is losing its history or hanging on to it? or? I think they're trying to hang on to it as okay. much as they can. I mean, even what they've done, of course, to... You know that Salvation Army there, that mm -hmm. old little train station area right. and stuff. And yeah, that I, was a I wonderful didn't realize transformation. That, that had been the oh. inner urban station until very recently. Yeah, and and how they unearthed all that old brick and everything. Yeah. It's just wow. Yeah, it's, it's it's so that kind of stuff is really and I, and I and I of course where the keg was with the actual station there. Mm -hmm. That's kind of in. They don't know what's happening there. Yeah, but New West is a city though. Then more than maybe some other cities that really does kind of care about that. Where I'm from, Surrey, there's a bit, but it's. A little mm -hmm. different history, more pioneer kind of, and, mm -hmm. and and they're focusing more on like the future, and you know, not that New West mm -hmm. isn't, but I think they still wanna. But I guess you've heard too about the whole thing about the, the crown. I guess the whole royal city. There's a no. debate there. Oh no, I don't know. Oh, what is this? Oh, there's a big debate. Um, should they stick with the old, you know, logo? You know, oh. uh, yeah, because it's very royal. It's very kind of old fashioned. Mm -hmm. There's some people saying can't change, and some people want to just call it like New West, and some people here are very insulted. It's New Westminster, you know, and yeah. so I, I kind of see where they're trying to make it a little younger, maybe hipper, or trying to get, you know, a different set to move down here uh -huh. and things like that. But then you have the other coin, you have the people that are so loving their history and loving that, you know, and uh -huh. all that. So, yeah. Okay. So I don't know, like, um, and where do you fit? <laughs> I'm, I'm always like, I feel kind of in between, like, I don't know, you know, I see it from both sides totally. Uh -huh. You know, um, I kind of do like the history part, though, I have to say. Because I'm afraid if we drop too, you know, uh -huh. I kind of like the crown. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, oh. I can see from a business standpoint, though, too, you know, you want to mm -hmm. look up and coming and, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's no, I have this totally different kind of question. No washroom on the Samson. Where do you, where, oh where if you need a washroom, where do you go? Uh, the market. Okay. It was hard a little bit when the market was under construction, though. Um, I wasn't working there at the time, but uh, some of the guides had to go to the, the pub, of course, uh -huh. which kind of was a little... The, 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 the paddle uh, wheeler? Right, oh, okay. but they were, they were pretty good. Because if not, at the time, the closest washrooms, there was a couple porto potties uh -huh. by the native office, which uh -huh. for girls, not really yeah. desirable. And then there's a little uh, park at the end of the, mm -hmm. before Pier Park, with that little one um, on the other side there. Uh, oh, okay. But it's so far, it would take you yeah. probably 10 minutes to walk there. You didn't want to, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But that's what's nice about having the market there, for uh -huh. sure. Having the amenities and, and okay. you know, having a coffee or something to eat, mm -hmm. you know. So, I mean, I do love the market. I miss the old market, but, of course, I'm thankful for whatever's there, you know, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, I mean, it's only so much you can okay. do. You have to... <laughs> Go with the flow. Yeah. Or... Yeah. Um. And so let's see. Does the I mean, do you, do you watch the river when you at work or? Oh yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. What do you watch for? Seals. No, seals. no I do like besides seals. seals. Besides seals. Besides um, seals. What, 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 what things? Just everything. It's just, it's such, it's like a, like the, our program, a living, working river. I uh -huh. mean, you know, like, when you, like, uh, the barges, like the wood chips go by. Uh -huh. I mean, it's such a lovely smell. And, uh -huh. you know, when they're um, pulling the log booms, and that's uh -huh. kind of neat, too. Uh -huh. So you never know, you know, what you're going to see. And I see it a lot, so I do take it kind of for granted. But it's uh -huh. amazing to see people from other areas, especially we're getting a lot more people from Surrey now living near the Sky Train. They'll come with like the kids in different, because it's a lot closer than going to say Vancouver to look around what's going on. You've got right. a four-year-old, they don't really oh. kind of care where, where they are. And uh -huh. and yeah, so uh, yeah, I do. I do enjoy looking around. There's a lot of action. There mm -hmm. is. And, and we, we even start moving around too, if a tug goes by or something, uh -huh. you know? Oh, oh yeah. The, yeah, the, the yeah. Boat rocks a little. yeah. It does, yeah, it does. Yeah. So that's kind of neat. Okay. No, it is a beautiful yeah. area, though. Yeah. It is, okay. yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's let's talk for just a couple of minutes about the work you do on the native. Oh, okay. So tell me, tell me what what you do there and when you started it. Well, I've been off and on there for I think 
five years now, mm -hmm. off and on. Because yeah, I didn't, I didn't like. There was one season I didn't, you know. So mm -hmm. I've never. I'm always kind of on the roster, but yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I started in the galley, um, and it was all right. You know, um, I really liked it when I was able to do the lunches on my own because it would just be one person, uh -huh. which was kind of nice because you kind of mm -hmm. feel like it, it's a small area. It's a so, small, yeah. right. So if you're on your own, it's it's great, and especially if you're on a trip to Fort Langley, it's a. Mm -hmm. uh, that was my favorite because it was a, f a full day thing and then you could actually eat with the crew where if you're a server or working there you can kind of if there's food left over from the cruise you can kind of gobble it down you never <laughs> gobble it all into the corner quickly or something because right. there's no real staff room to go to or anything and uh -huh. the only privacy room would be the engine room and no one's gonna go back uh -huh. there so. uh -huh. and they do the food as a buffet right yes yeah. buffet style um yes okay yeah louise is actually back in the galley now and she oh, she'd okay. actually Assisted before, but not so much. And she's worked in, in pubs before as well. So she's kind of a well-rounded uh -huh. person. And yeah, it was her and Helga doing the Mother's Day thing. I wasn't uh, on that one. But yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. And uh, which uh, which of the cruises do you like? Um, Well, my favorite is actually... Well, the, my favorite boat is the Native, but my favorite trip is the Pit Lake Cruise. Uh -huh. Not so much the Beta Star. I mean, it's, it's a cute little uh -huh. catamaran, uh -huh. but it's it's... To be in the nature, of course, to be in Pit Lake. Uh -huh. And that was actually the first time I ever saw a bear from a distance. Oh, okay. Which I got a laugh from someone in the sales office because they were from like bear country or something. And I'm like, uh -huh. oh, you might be able to see a bear. And they're like, well, <laughs> we see bears all the time. You can so. see a bear in New West. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it was, it was funny. It was funny because I was so excited. Yeah. You know, never yeah. being able to yeah. see that yeah. before, though. No, yeah. No, no. I've actually seen one in Burnaby. It wasn't quite New West. But, oh, yes. but, 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 but yeah, 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 yeah. On the border there. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, yeah. So, but, I mean, it's just, it's just so beautiful, a trip, uh -huh. you know. And you got the pictographs and uh -huh. and whatnot. You have, I, did you meet Ulrich? And I didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah, he's, he's great. Because he used to work for the, uh, when the boat had its own company, I guess, for oh. line tours. And so I guess Helga kind of inherited him with, oh. with the boat. But oh. he he's great. He he I think he uh, Finn Slew or something out there. Oh right? yeah, so, like, yeah. Phone and so he's he's he actually um, was the one when in the mid nineties the Samson sunk as a museum because the Starline oh. Tours was moored right next door. Right. And so um, he was the one that called it in. <laughs> so he actually I, I have it at home. I should actually make a copy of it because a lot of people are interested. In the article, he actually gave it to me because his name was mentioned. Ah. So when I was always talking about the stamps, and he's like, well, I have a couple of these copies. You're the perfect person to have one. So Okay. <laughs> yeah. So the Samson sunk. It did. Yeah. I'm not sure the exact uh, year. I think it was like 94, 95, something like okay. that. Okay. So, yeah. And that's where I guess they put in like, uh, you know, uh, more bilge pump alarms and things. And right. Louisa and everything. Yeah. And it was ever there's a little more diligent looking at the, the water levels and whatnot. Right. I'm not totally into yeah. that kind of stuff, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, I think this is, I, 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 th I sort of vaguely remember hearing something about this. I'll have to, I'll have to check it out. Yeah, but. yeah. Yeah, it's interesting to have someone around that still, yeah, remembers the story too. <laughs> okay. And it's amazing by the time I got there, I got to the mid deck too. <laughs> Wow. And supposedly it was a, like a log, so it's kind of ironic because that's that's what it did. <laughs> yeah, so people like that story too. They're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, even the boat is just a history of just being uh -huh. a museum itself, as just uh -huh. of course it's working history because right. some people are interested in like little stories and things, you know? Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. I think that probably does it. Great. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, that was fun. That was easier than I thought. I told you it was going to be easy.